everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've sat down and filmed a lengthy YouTube tutorial so I'm really happy to be back. Today I've tried to create a really nice bronzy and glowy skin. I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite products that I've been loving over the last few months. So if you want to see this makeup tutorial, keep watching. Let's jump right into the video. I've already done my skincare so I'm going to go in with foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. This is Sheer Glow by NARS. It's a little bit too dark for me now, but we're just gonna make it work. I really wanna go for a really nice bronzy look. I'm just stippling the product all over my face with a flat foundation brush. Sometimes I like to use a beauty blender too, but when I'm trying to go for a little bit more of a full coverage look, I go in with the foundation brush. I find that sometimes the beauty blender just shears out my foundation too much. Next I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use a shade that's a little bit lighter for under my eyes and then I'm going to use a different concealer for the rest of my face. For under my eyes I'm using this concealer by Tarte and this is in the shade light medium sand. I go back and forth between this concealer and the one by Too Faced. I just have my moods where like I prefer one over the other. Right now I'm just like on a shape tape kick. I'm loving this one right now. I find it doesn't crease as much, so I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm just going in with a synthetic brush and I'm pushing that under my eyes. I will go in with my finger a little bit just to blend out the edges. And I'm just doing the same thing on this side here, pressing that product into my skin. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges with my finger. Now I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way concealer and this is in the color light beige. So this concealer I just like to use on like different areas of my skin where like a little bit of redness will come through. The next step in my routine is optional but I find that it gives a really nice and bright look to the skin. I got my hands on this concealer by Maybelline and this is in the shade 160. I never thought I'd like the idea of a pink tone concealer but it actually looks really nice on my skin and just dab it just on the areas where I would usually highlight my skin. I will take a little bit right here, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, on top of my cupid's bow, and I think that's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna take that same foundation brush that I've been using, and I'm just gonna push that into my skin. So now that I've blended that in, my skin is looking very pale. I promise it's a trust the process kind of makeup look. It's gonna come together really nicely once I've finished my makeup. Now it's time to add some color back into my skin. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been loving this liquid bronzer by Iconic London. I swear by this stuff. It just gives the skin such a nice, beautiful, like sun-kissed glow. I'm using the shade Spiced Tan. What I like to do is take a little bit of product on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's really pigmented, but it just blends so nicely on the skin. So I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm just gonna be dabbing this on the high points of my skin. Whatever's left over, I just like to go a little bit across the nose. That's gonna add a really nice natural bronze look and then a little bit on the chin. Again, I'm just taking a synthetic brush. You wanna make sure that your brush is synthetic so it's really gonna help blend that liquid product and I'm just pushing that right into my skin. I don't think that's enough product, so I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more and just repeat the steps where I feel like I need a little bit more of a bronze look. I feel like you have a lot more control when you're using a dense brush. So before I set my face with powder, I'm gonna go in with a liquid blush and I'm just gonna take that and dab it right there on the high point of my cheek but I'm keeping it a little bit back. I don't wanna to go too close to this area here because again, I wanna keep that area of my face really nice and bright. To make sure that it's really well blended, I'm going back in with my original foundation brush and I'm just stippling that product again on my face. So you can see we're layering a lot of products, but each product is adding a different shade to the face. It's adding a lot of dimension and it's gonna really make your makeup look like skin. I love using the Becca Under Eye Powder for setting under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this powder puff and I'm just gonna pick up some product and I'm gonna push that just in my under eye area. So to set the under eyes, I always go in with a very thin layer of powder first and then you can go in and bake the area if you're gonna do your eye makeup or if you just wanna really lock that under eye makeup in place. I think I'm running out of this stuff because it hasn't been coming out 
as easily as it usually does. We're gonna let this sit a little bit. I'm gonna go do my eye makeup and my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So I just did a really quick and simple eye look. I'm gonna go in with some powder products now. So I'm gonna go in with a powder bronzer. This is the one by NARS. This is in the shade Casino. And I'm just taking that on a fan brush. I'm basically going over the areas where we've already applied bronzer. So I'm just taking that across the forehead on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm gonna go a little bit across the face and a little bit on the chin. We're gonna add a little bit of highlight. I'm going in with this palette here by Dior. I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. And I'm just taking that on the tops of my cheekbones. Might be hard to see on camera, but this product gives such a nice and beautiful glow. I'm gonna go in with this light bronzy color here, right in the middle of my eyelid, just to add like that little bit of glow on my eyes. Then I'm just gonna go in with this pink shade here, My cheeks are looking a little bit pale, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a brighter blush. I don't wanna go too heavy handed because it's very bright. This is in the color Orgasm X. This is a blush by NARS. Sometimes I just dust a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And here is the finished makeup look. My lipstick and lip liner are from Kylie Cosmetics and they're in the shade Kylie. I'm just gonna set my face with a setting spray. This is the one by Morphe. If you guys have any suggestions for any setting sprays, please let me know. This is honestly the only one I've ever used. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video below if you've enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.